Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, welcome back with a record number of travelers on their way home for the holidays and most of them on the road. Conditions can be dangerous. In fact, Virginia State Police are investigating a series of chain reaction crashes that began just before 8 o'clock this morning on Interstate 64 at the Queens Creek Bridge in York County, Virginia. The current number of vehicles involved is 69. CBS News reports 51 people were injured and two critically. Robert, now detours are in place, but ice on the bridge and heavy fog may have had a part in the crash. So how bad is it for travelers across the country right it's now? It's not too bad right now, especially locally, and I'll get to the fog here in just a second here, but I've driven that section of 64, Renee. It is narrow and fast, and those people had no clue oh. what was going on there with that freezing fog, which we get all the time up here, but it's rare in the state of Virginia. In fact, here's a look at Thank the visibility right now across the region here. You can see that uh, just eight-tenths of a mile in Williston, three in Watford City, nine in the Magic City. It's mostly north of Lake Sakakawea is where that fog is. In fact, if we go outside to the Williston area, you'll be able to see just a little bit of that fog out there with the visibilities starting to diminish. And seeing some of the uh, chats from the National Weather Service kind of mulling about possibly a dense fog advisor as we go through the night. Nothing yet right now. You're at 26 in Williston with those northeast winds at 8, giving us a wind chill right now of just 18 degrees. Nice and clear. Bismarck not dealing with the fog right now. That could change. We got up to 36 today in the capital city, about more than double uh, the uh, average today. 20 degrees average uh, high. So it was another warm day out there today, well short of that uh, all-time record high of 56. Meanwhile, you can see a little bit of fog in the Minot area where you got to 46 degrees today, 16 degrees above the average. Temperatures elsewhere remain mild, about 20 degrees warmer than where we should be this time of the year. We should be in the single digits, but as you can see, everybody in the mid to upper 20s, lower 30s to the southwest, but rugby still the cool spot. You are at 16. Here's a look at the satellite and radar picture, and you can see some of that clearing further toward the north, but they are, that clearing's kind of leading there and helping to get that fog to develop a little bit. Everybody else toward the south is buried under a thick layer of cloud cover. And that is the way it's going to stay as we go through Christmas week with lots of cloud cover. Kind of dreary as you wake up tomorrow morning. You can see the area completely covered in overcast with the exception to the north as you make your way toward Devil's Lake there. Wake up on Christmas Eve. What a surprise. Mostly cloudy, if not completely overcast conditions. Same thing applies for Christmas warning as you're getting ready to open those presents. And we will have a system slide by uh, late in the day on Christmas that could give us a little bit of snow, a fresh whitening of the ground. Computer model still differing a little bit on it, but something we'll keep our eye on. 20 tonight in the capital city with that fog developing patchy, probably after the midnight hour with those east winds at five to seven miles an hour. In the Magic City, pretty much the same thing, mostly cloudy tonight with that fog developing probably after midnight with a low of 18 degrees. Here's a look at your three-day forecast for the Dickinson area. A little bit of morning fog in Dickinson, and then it'll it turn out breezy in the afternoon, partly sunny on Tuesday, and a couple of stray flurries for your Wednesday. Same thing for Williston, mostly cloudy on Monday, and then some increasing clouds ahead of that system on Tuesday, and then a few flakes during the afternoon hours of Wednesday. And here's your extended forecast for the Bismarck area. Clouds are the theme as we get uh, closer toward Christmas here, especially Tuesday, and then there's that chance for snow on Wednesday, and then a couple of morning snow showers on Thursday. Before the rest of the week turns out nice, same thing for the Magic City, average high of 22. We'll get around that, but you know, as I said, Renee, this time last year we were preparing for a major Christmas storm that delivered like six to ten inches of snow for us. Nothing like that here. I think if you have travel plans across a good part of the country, you should be okay. Good to hear. Thanks so much, Robert. You got it. Looking forward to it. And a little bit warmer Christmas Day this year. Yes, thankfully. It thankfully is warmer. Thankfully for that. Christmas came early. Thanks so much. Coming up next in sports. Could this be the best top five plays of the year? Find out after the break.